So what are we doing today? <laughs> today. <laughs> so today there's a whack of things we're going to do. So we're going to dart a couple of Black Impala rams and some Saddleback rams. We're going to move a Golden Wildebeest bull. Um, we're going to catch some Kudu. We're also going to catch a whole lot of Split Impala females. So there's a couple of things we're going to move around in camps and some stuff that we're going to load that's been sold and you know, loaded onto the transport. So, you see the one here like there with the dark backs? Those yeah. are the saddlebacks. Okay. So these are all split. So the ones just with a plain dark back and the dark faces, that's what we call a saddleback. And then the black ones are the black impala. And the others are all obviously just carrying the, carrying the genetics. So that's what we're going to dart today. We're going to dart black impala rams and saddleback rams. So what is the darting for? So that's just to catch them. I mean, you must understand that they're wild. So the only way you can catch them, they're not. They look tame like cattle and sheep. Yeah, but, but you, I mean, you can't you can't hurt them. Yeah. Oh, the purpose. Okay. So once we've darted them, we're going to load them onto transport. So they've been sold. Oh, okay. So they'll they'll be relocated into different breeding projects. But darting is basically like giving anaesthetic, but via remote control. Yeah. You, you know, I mean, it's in parlor you give two to three milligrams, which is the same as what you give to a rhino. So it depends on the species mm. and the metabolism and. And also what you're doing. So if you're working with a helicopter, sometimes you need to give a little bit more. Yeah. And um, if you're working from the ground, it, it really depends on the situation and what you what you're going to be doing. Yeah. I just got a message from the pilot saying, 15 minutes. It's like, well, yeah, you're going to be 15 minutes late. That's what's going to happen. Like as I did before, I really like t-shirts and stuff. So I used to wear a Pringle or Lacoste shirt. Yeah, they used to the call salmon me, ones. They used to call me Pringle of the bush, <laughs> Dr. Pringle. <laughs> What are you busy getting at? So what we're going to do quickly is um, some of these animals need to be marked just so that when they go into a new breeding project they know like where they're from where they're from and that they're just numbered I mean sometimes you just have to tag them so you can manage them so we're just going to quickly burn some tags syringes together so uh, just do new syringes and stuff so we got them because when we get going there's not always time to get everything together. All the, all the different animals have different dosages and, and vets use all sorts of different odds and ends to sort of mixes so we call them mixes and um, some of the drugs come in powder form that you mix them up so this is the main drug that we're going to use, which is called Thanol, and that's the drug to, to dart them with, and that's the reversal. And then what I like to do with the Impala is I add ketamine. So it comes in a powder form like that, and then I mix it with sterile water to get it to the, to the right dosage. That I'm going to push into this vial, and then that creates the dosage that I'd like for the day. So then I mix it up, and now I have the, sort of the dosage that I want to use. The more water I add, the weaker the dosage. The less water I add, the stronger the dose is. And then I always like to just write on the bottle so that I know what I've done for the day. And then just to show you how the darts work. So is that all, all you'll need for the whole day? No, 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 I'll use way more than that for the day. So that'll, that'll probably just last for the first couple that we do. Um, so then what we, these are the darts that we're gonna use. So it's a disposable dart, meaning that basically once it hits the ground or hits the animal, then the dart's finished and you basically throw it away. So what it does is it has a, that's the needle. There's an extra port there on the side, that's the opening, and it has a little hook. So what happens is when it hits the animal, it actually hooks into the animal. So then we can ID that animal that's got the dart in it. And then you'll see there's a plunger at the back. So what happens is when it hits, that little charge goes off, pushes the plunger forward, and pushes the medicine into the animal. Yeah. So that's the basic concept of hard work. What we do is, just to show you quickly how we load a dart. Okay, that's the drug that we use. It works out in milligrams, so I know how many milligrams I want to give them for the, you know, depending on the size of the impala we're going to do. And then I fill it up with ketamine, and then I fill the dart up. So that one's pretty much loaded. So what we're going to do, six impala in this camp. So we'll do three at a time. We'll do three black rams and three saddleback rams. And they've got specific tags and 
numbers, so we've got a list so the pilot and I can ID the animals. Ranger radio check. Five, four, three, two, one. 